Well met. Welcome to another random underscore 14 YouTube video. Truly, there is no rest for the weary. Scarce had I begun to make myself at home when I received a request for assistance from Amagina and Sun's mineral concern. It would appear their storehouse in Horizon has been the target of a series of covert robberies. Minor as they seemed in isolation, occasional discrepancies in the manifests were long dismissed as clerical errors. It was only during the concern's annual audit that a pattern became apparent. Significant quantities of crystals and only crystals were missing. I need hardly tell you what that may imply. The brass blades charged with investigating the thefts believe that someone within the concern is selling the crystals for profit. Alas, they have as yet been unable to identify a likely suspect, and the concern's proprietors have grown frustrated by their lack of progress. Needless to say, I would not have agreed to intervene had the stolen goods been of merely monetary value. If there is even a possibility that the thief acts not out of self-interest, but in service to a primal, we can ill afford to wait for the blades to realize their mistake. Pray depart for Horizon at your earliest convenience. Rendezvous with Yishtola when you arrive, she and Thankrid have already begun a preliminary investigation. I have every confidence that the three of you will get to the bottom of these thefts. I only hope our fears prove unfounded when you do. When you arrive in Horizon, be sure to speak with Yishtola. She will inform you as to the latest developments. For my part, I shall continue to speak with the concerns representatives. They may have additional information which could be of use. I've my eye on each and every one of this unsavory lot. Hey Nekotai. Your assistance is most welcome. I have already spoken at length with the brass blades of the rose, albeit to little avail. It would seem that the thieves took great pains to conceal their activities. I could go into further detail, but your time might better be spent in conversation with Fufulupa. He is the officer charged with leading the investigation, and I would only be repeating that which he related to me. If aught eluded my attention, mayhap it will not elude yours. Oh, hello there. Kaneko Teen, was it? Yishtola said to expect you. Terrible business, these thefts. We have yet to confirm the quantity of crystals stolen, but I dare say it may be greater than. Ah, but never mind that. I have news to share. A short while ago, the driver of a heavily laden carriage refused to halt for inspection and broke through one of our checkpoints on the Royal Allegan Sunway. The cart bolted off toward Eastern Thanalan, where, thank the gods, I hear that our colleagues were able to apprehend them without further incident. A speeding carriage? That would seem a curious choice for thieves of such proven cunning. Yet the Emolja do have a foothold in Eastern Thenelon. Hum. And what of their cargo? Did they carry the crystals we seek? We should be receiving a report any moment now, but I fail to see what else it could. Did you miss me, friends? 
I'm back, but I fear I come bearing disappointing news, or, on second thought, perhaps it's good news, after all. Thank Rid. Wherever have you been off to? I figured you had everything under control here, so I just took a brief excursion to the east to check up on our Amulja friends. And wouldn't you believe it? I happened upon a runaway carriage on the way, and even was able to do my small part to help my friends and the brass blades intercept it. In all my years, I have never seen such a prodigious quantity of Somnus. The blades were calling at one of the greatest halls they've ever seen. The stolen crystals, on the other hand, were nowhere to be found. Is that so? Alas, I suppose we have no choice but to resume our search elsewhere. We should reassess our options as well. Come with us, Kanekotin. We brass blades will lay our lives down for the safety of Horizon. And so we find ourselves back where we began. What have I overlooked? Against all expectation, it would seem the Amalja are innocent of this particular spate of crimes. By all indications, they have yet to replenish the stores of crystals exhausted during their last attempt to summon Ifrit. What I can't fathom is why anyone else would go to such lengths to obtain crystals, and in such quantities. It cannot be that we are dealing with simple thieves. If their motive were profit, why would they limit their trade to crystals alone? Plainly, we are missing something. While you think about what it might be, I shall inform Orianje of our progress, or lack thereof. Now then. Tis I. The situation may be more complicated than we anticipated. Indeed, I shall remain watchful. Ere thou goest, another matter requireth thine attention. A young maiden, full eager to... Wherefore inquirest thou of her fairness? Oh, very well. Be she damsel or devil, I shall direct her steps to Revenant's toll. Save thine insinuations for one given to such impropriety. Thou shalt not find me amenable. Across the sea from the land of Doma have we traveled. We seek audience with the ruler of these lands. Who here speaks for you? Thanks for watching. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Farewell.